I'm Marie from Humble Bee and Me, and today we are smushing up a gentle oatmeal almond body wash bar. So this formulation was inspired by two different recipe requests. One was from Liz and one was from Hannah. And one of the requests was sort of based on, inspired by a commercially available product that had been reformulated and the reformulation just wasn't up to snuff. And the other request was, you know, straight from straight from the imagination, thinking of, you know, creating a beautiful, gentle body wash Sindet bar that featured really gentle surfactants and lovely ingredients like colloidal oatmeal. And I, these two requests, I think they came in at about similar-ish times. I definitely had kind of both of them floating around at the same time and kind of got to thinking like, let's let's do that. That sounds fun. So I think the coolest thing about this bar is that it contains 25% colloidal oatmeal, which is one of those things, if you'd asked me three years ago, I would have said, don't do it. It like, it'll never be shelf stable. You can't preserve it. But these days I'm much more of a like, well, let's try it and see. And so I tried it and I saw, and it's awesome. Um, this bar has a pretty high active surfactant matter. It is dry almost all the time. Uh, and Liquid Dermal Plus is a really good preservative. And so I've had a version of this bar living in my shower for months now, and it's totally fine. So how cool is that? Our primary surfactant is finely powdered sodium cocal isothionate. So this is a very gentle surfactant made from coconuts. And so the sodium cocal isothionate plus the colloidal oatmeal, that makes nearly 75% of our formulation as dry powders. We then wet those dry powders with, you know, some wet things. So there's two liquid surfactants, some cocoa mitopropyl betaine and some disodium laureth sulfosusinate, which yes, I did look up how to pronounce and no, I am still not confident in my pronunciation of it. You'll also find some almond oil for a bit of lovely refatting, a bit of glycerin to help prevent the bar from drying out so much that it starts to crack and crumble. And then of course some liquid dermal plus so that the bar stays nice and happy and doesn't, uh, you know, start making a bunch of friends with things that are fuzzy. When made as written, the pH of this bar comes out right to about 5.5, which is fantastic. I have left it unscented as it is designed to be for more sensitive skin, but if you would like to learn how to incorporate a small amount of a fragrance or essential oil, make sure you are reading the partner blog post linked in the description box below this video. Making this is really easy. You're just gonna need a pair of nitrile gloves and like a bowl. So once you weighed everything out, you're just gonna blah, 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 until you have a nice uh, dough and then you mold it and then you leave it to dry and then it gets really, really hard, really, really fast. Uh, and yeah, rock and roll. Um, for reference, this bar here, I made yesterday. This bar is like 24 hours old and it is already like ow levels of hard when I wrap it into my hand. So yeah, um, nice, firm, lovely bar, super, super easy to make. Smells vaguely of oats and is just really lovely. I hope Liz and Hannah love it and I hope you do too. Fun, let's get started. We're going to begin by mixing all of our wet ingredients together. So in this dish, I have 3.75 grams of sweet almond oil. In this little dish, I've got two different ingredients, 0.75 grams vegetable glycerin and 0.25 grams liquid dermal plus. Over here, I have four grams of cocoa mitopropyl betaine. And in this little dish, I have 5.05 grams of disodium laureth sulfosusinate. So I'm just gonna combine everything in the dish with our preservative and the glycerin, since those are kind of the tiniest amounts. And we'll just stir everything together. So up next, we're going to combine our two ingredients with the wet things and knead that to make a nice dough. So in this dish, I have 23.7 grams of very finely powdered sodium cocoa isothionate. And in this dish, I have 12 and a half grams of colloidal oatmeal. And if you have any questions about this ingredient or any of these ingredients really, please make sure you are looking them up in the Humble Bee and Me Encyclopedia. The entry for colloidal oatmeal in particular is quite interesting and contains some really helpful links. So since we are working with finely powdered surfactants, I'm going to put my dust mask on now before proceeding. And if you want more information about my dust mask, it is also in the Humble Bee and Me Encyclopedia. Now that everything is wetted out, I have pulled my dust mask down so that you can hear me again. 
But yeah, you can see that this is slowly turning into a fairly sticky dough and we're just you know sort of slowly working in any remaining bits and then kind of pulling the damper stickier bits off my hand so that we can get everything nice and thoroughly incorporated um, and it really does smell delightfully oaty right now which i just love i mean there is 25 percent colloidal oatmeal in here so it's not super surprising but i think it's it's lovely. Once you have, you know, a dough that is, you know, sticking to itself more than your gloves, uh, all that's left to do is to just form it into kind of a body wash shape that you like. You could also press it into a mold, but you can see it's, it's pretty stiff. Uh, so I'm not sure and how successful that would be. I'm just gonna kind of aim for a bit of a, a puck-ish shape. If you feel like your dough is too wet or too dry, please make sure you're reading the blog post for information on how to adjust the formulation to uh, get the right consistency of dough. All right, so I think that's pretty good. <laughs> um, up next is just leaving the bar to dry. I recommend at least two days, but please make sure you're reading the partner blog post for more detailed discussion on that. And for a lather demo and checking out an older bar. So this is an older version made during testing. This has been living in my shower for quite some time. You can see it's like, it's really nice and hard, ow. Um, <laughs> nice and hard. Uh, and obviously, you know, it's not like covered in mold. So hooray. Uh, work this up with a bit of water and a loofah. So yeah, check that out. We've got lots of really lovely, lovely bubbles. And it makes a brilliant body wash. You could use it on your face if you wanted to as well. It's a great you know, multi-purpose thing to have in your shower. And there you go. So we just made a really lovely gentle oatmeal almond body wash bar. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and please make sure you are reading the full partner blog post linked in the description box below. You'll find tons of extra great information down there, links to places to buy all the ingredients, information on substitutions, on scaling, on pH, on shelf life, just all kinds of great stuff. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.